Our target aid investigators hear it often. People complaining some government agency just failed to do something for them. Their frequent advice is take action yourself. Give the system a shove. Oh, well, tonight we have the story of a man whose classic car disappeared and how he got the system to work for him. Target aid investigator Henry Herb has the story. This is a story about this classic 1977 Chevy Corvette Stingray and how easy it can be to lose something you love. I was told by my wife in the period I owned that car that I was so proud of that car that I took better care of that car than I did of my wife for my home. And how hard it can be to get it back. I waxed it every two weeks and washed it two or three times a week and it was a beautiful car. Jeff Signor wanted it to be an even better car, so he sent it to a mechanic who worked out of his house. I said, I really care about it, and just take your time and, and do the best work that you can do on it. Then, Signor got sick and nearly died. When he got better, he called the mechanic for an update. He, at the time when I talked to him, told me he didn't know where the car was, which was shocking to me. It was a lame tale. The mechanic told him he came back from Florida and the car was gone. Signor called the Muskegon Township Police. According to this police report, the mechanic tried that story on the cops, too, but it didn't work. And he finally admitted that he had sold Jeff Signor's car. That's right, sold it. Then Signor got another shock. The law wouldn't do anything about it. The Muskegon County Prosecutor's Office bought the mechanic's latest tale, that Signor had abandoned his car and that the mechanic had a legal right to sell it. Certainly nothing in the police report indicated uh... Uh, anything other than that the procedure had been followed. But the procedure had not been followed and the law had no clue because the patrol officer to whom Signor made his complaint did not ask the Secretary of State's office for the sales documents which would have revealed the real story because the officer didn't see it as a criminal case. He wrote it up and it sounded to him like it was a civil matter between the two parties. And the prosecutor's office agreed with that, although they had seen no official documentation to back up the mechanic's story. They bought the abandonment tale, even though Signor could show he paid $6,000 for the work four months before the mechanic sold the car. As far as I was concerned, the car was in good hands. I trusted him, and I thought my work was getting done. And even if the owner had walked away without paying, the mechanic probably wasn't eligible to get a legitimate garage keeper's lien to sell the car because he's not a licensed repair shop. They pretty much shrugged their shoulders and almost dropped it like a um, cigarette butt into a crack in the sidewalk. So it was up to Jeff Signor to do his own investigation. With the encouragement of Target 8 investigators, Signor did what the police didn't. He got all the paperwork on the car from the Secretary of State. He discovered what really happened. And it's blatant forgery. And it was easy. All the mechanic had to do was apply for a duplicate title pretending to be an agent for the car's owner. Then just forge the owner's signature. It's alarming that uh, uh, this guy could so easily forge documents and uh, be able to present them as valid and uh, ultimately have the title sent to his residence. And he almost got away with it, except for the victim's own investigation. Signor took the proof back to the Muskegon Township Police, this time to Sergeant Dave Wipa, and finally got action. Target 8 investigators were there when the police and a wrecker recovered Jeff Signor's beloved 1977 Corvette Stingray from the guy the mechanic sold it to. The prosecutor charged the mechanic, Dave Passanier, with forgery, leaving Signor glad he was getting his car back, but... Then all my footwork, and I don't see why they couldn't have put a little bit more time into it this really makes me wonder about, you know, who was there to protect and serve me. And that's not the end of the story. The police impounded his Corvette in case it was needed as evidence. It's been racking up daily storage charges ever since, well over a thousand dollars. A needless expense for the victim, because two months ago, Muskegon County Prosecutor Tony Tagg told us that he no longer needed to keep the car for evidence. But apparently, nobody did anything about it. Targeting investigators started asking questions about that last Monday. You haven't received uh, anything from the prosecutor's office saying go ahead and release the car. Not, not that I know of. Um, I, don't, I don't believe so. Sergeant Wipa said he tried to help Signor get his car back promptly and without the huge storage fee. Three days later, Signor got a call. I got a phone call this morning from Muskegon Township Police Department, and they said the car was ready to be picked up. And instead of more than $1,000, it will cost Signor just 40 bucks. The police department, which blew off Signor's complaint in the beginning, came through for him in the end. Yeah, there's a better outcome to it now than there was yesterday. In Grand Rapids, I'm Target 8 investigator Henry Herb.
the Michigan Secretary of State's office says allowing someone else to act as your agent to get a car title has been around for decades. In this case, it was apparently misused through forgery, but a Secretary of State spokesman says he's never heard of that happening before and sees no need to change the procedure. Well, the weather's changing in rain this afternoon, kicking up. Point of the meter. Start.